Good morning everyone, my name is Ellen and thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Today is February 26th and today is actually my brother's birthday. But today we are gonna log on to Uber Eats and DoorDash and I guarantee DoorDash is not busy because they never are at 8.30 in the morning, at least for me in the Las Vegas area. So we're just gonna go on the apps and you're gonna ride along with me and we're gonna see how the day goes. So let's go. First stop is going to be here at this Viva El Taco. This was like $6 for two miles. So starting off, not too bad. So let's go grab this order and it might take a few minutes because I just got it. Hello, I just have a pickup for rain. Um, yeah, no worries, no problem at all. Okay, so we'll wait. All right, our next stop is here at a place called Pop Rocks and it is just a drive through Here you're gonna be picking up sodas and maybe some desserts, but this is what I got. So it's $5 for one mile. Miles are okay, pays okay. <laughs> Actually, the miles are pretty good. So anyways, we're gonna go up to the window and we're gonna grab that order. Let's go. Hello. Hi. Did you get it for Connie on Uber Eats? Yes, please. Okay, no worries, no problem. Oh, and um, now that I look behind me, it looks like I see like two cars behind me in line. So you heard what she said, she's working by herself, which is kind of how it's been, I guess, through a lot of these places. So hopefully it won't take too long. I don't know what she ordered. Hopefully it's just one drink. But um, anyways, we're just gonna sit here, wait for that order, and then we're gonna head over to the customer. And I'm pointing this way, but I'm not sure where she lives. So we'll get the order and then we'll go. Okay, so I need your guys' opinion. I dropped after the order for pop drinks and the worker gave it to me and she apologized for being late. And I was like, no, that's okay. You said you're by yourself. And so as I'm driving i thought well wait a minute there's three drinks and i saw four items now the drop off and pickup location are like a mile away dropped off at adam hospital i saw that she forgot the popcorn now i didn't go back online to pick it up because by the time i realized i stayed in the, i was in the parking lot already i went back to go look and i could see that there was already a few cars in so I, if it was like a restaurant and I could just walk in and get somebody else's attention, no problem at all. But it's my fault. So I didn't check to see if she had everything in there. So I didn't go back because I didn't want to wait in line because my order took, or my customer's order took like a good five minutes. And then by the time I went back, there was like at least a couple of cars in. So I didn't, but I did let, I did call the customer, I left her voicemail and I apologize. And I said, they'll send you another driver or you, they'll go ahead and they'll refind you. So I might be getting my tip taken away. So what would you do? Would you go back in line and get that rest of that order? Even though you know, you're going to be like sitting there for like probably a good, like 15 minutes, or would you just do what I did? So, uh, anyways, I just dropped off the drinks and let the customer know and hopefully they'll send another driver so okay anyways we are at Starbucks because I'm hoping to get an order it's a little bit slow today so hopefully we get something soon and then this will be our third order okay it took me a little bit to get my next order I guess 10 o'clock on Monday not many people want to order so this one here Einstein's five dollars two miles um you know we're just gonna go get it <laughs> So heading over the now, I just happened to be in the parking where Einstein is. I picked this parking lot because while I was waiting at Starbucks, nothing was happening. So when that happens, I always move and I try to find a location where I might get other opportunities. So that's what I did. Um, there was other places like griddle cakes and a couple of like juice places across and yogurt places but anyways we got Einstein's we're gonna go pick it up and because oh wait let's see Adam 
so I didn't take this stacked order. It was an additional four dollars for two miles, but it was picking up at a restaurant called Jolly Bee, which is just a little up the street. If it was picking up at Einstein's, then I probably would have taken it because that would have put it at was like nine, a little more than nine dollars for four miles. But because it was going to, to a different restaurant, it's not worth it for four dollars. However, I did accept this order and it is scrambled for seven dollars for five miles. But now, have you guys noticed or you've maybe you've already this wasn't an issue, but Uber now allows me at least <laughs> to go to like expand the map and to see exactly where it is going. So, or almost exactly, you know, before it would just, I couldn't adjust the map. Does that make any sense? Let me know if that's something new or if you've been always able to do that. So yeah, anyways, so we got the Einsteins and we're gonna head over to Scrambled, get that order and then head uh, about a few miles to the customers. So the light's green, so let's go. So I'm on my way to my next order. It is picking up at Lee's Sandwiches. It is $7 for five miles. I didn't screenshot, but I got a screenshot of the add-on. $10 for an additional four miles. So that's a total of nine miles for $17. So not bad. And I'm so grateful that I have the opportunity to be an independent contractor where I can stop my apps to go home and take care of any situations at home. If you're new, many of you will know, but if you're new, I am a mom of two boys, I'm a single mom of two boys, and my oldest has autism and is 21, and I just need that flexibility to go home, get some stuff done, do what I need to do. So let me know in the comments why you do this kind of, if you do this work, why you do this work, is it, the flexibility is it the fact that you can work a couple of hours part-time is it cute it gives you the opportunity to work full-time so that's the reason that I do it but anyways let's go into Lee's sandwiches and grab our first order and then head over to Island Sushi no Island Flavors for the second one okay let's go so this is not Lee's sandwiches there's Lee's sandwiches is that it Oh no, it's next door. Okay, so I thought this was like unique to Vegas, but somebody did a video and I forget who it was, but they had a Lee's sandwiches where they were and they weren't in Vegas. So, so anyways, I guess it's a chain. But it's cute in here, huh? Hello, I have a pickup for Brady on Uber. Yeah, Brady? Yeah. Oh, okay. There's two sandwiches. Island Flavor Express. Is our add on order and what is sure it's gonna be ready? Hi, pick up for Noah, please. On Uber, she's ready. Good, yeah. Okay, no, you're good. There you go. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's go for the bag. So both of those orders were dropped off, and when I dropped off the order for Lee's sandwiches, it was me at the door, and I'm handing the guy the customer, and he starts giving me a code. And I'm like, oh, let me check. And I look at my app, and there was no option to punch a code in, but he said it was on his end. So let me know when you do Uber, if that's ever happened to you, where Uber gives the customer or tells them they have to provide a pin and you don't get a, a pin to put it on your end. So anyway, so that was dropped off. And then I dropped off for the customer for Island Express and the customer puts this note in asking drivers to please pull, you know, to please move the sandwiches a little further away from the door. So as I was doing that, he opened the door and I started talking to him and I'm like, I don't understand how people don't know any better and not put the food not in front of the door. So 
anyways, but he's like, yeah, I've knocked over quite a few uh, drinks. So I'm like, and I was like, and you're a good tipper. So he's a decent tipper. So anyways, but we're going to head on for a little bit because I have to do a couple of things and we'll head out later. So to show you guys my next pickup, it's this place here. The $7, four miles. Now, little Greek restaurant, not too much of a way. Okay, we'll wait for the order. I am at Chipotle and I'm gonna pick up my next order. It was like six dollars, three miles. I didn't screenshot because I was driving, but I accepted it. But I wanted to talk about when I picked up at that restaurant, Stefano's, I give the worker the name of the customer. I said, I'm here for Alejandro. And he goes, okay, it's being made. I said, okay. So I'm, you know, texting away, you know, doing whatever I'm doing. And another, I'm assuming driver, because he had a bag in his hand and he wasn't leaving. So he's probably waiting for another order. And he's like, excuse me, are you picking up for Alejandro? And I said, yeah. He goes, it's just right there. So I was like, thank you so much. And he kind of looked at me like, I got you. So I don't think the restaurant did it on a purpose. I just think that they didn't look far enough down on the shelf to see if that order was there because why would they do that on purpose? So anyways, definitely appreciated that customer looking out. So anyways, so here, not customer, I'm sorry. I appreciate that driver looking out, but here we are, Chipotle, let's go. an add on for this place. This is Pot Belly, um, 10, 10, dollars for an extra three miles so just see if the order is ready and then head on over to the customer hello so i'm on my way to drop off the two orders for chipotle and potbelly and when i got into chipotle the, i noticed there was a lady standing there and she had her phone but i knew she wasn't a driver because she was wearing a shirt with the name tag and i mean i guess she could have been but i knew she wasn't and one of the workers came up and said, do you need some help? They asked me. And I said, oh, I think she was here first. Thinking it was gonna be a quick little exchange, like, can I get some salsa or something? Well, for five minutes, she was disputing a credit card charge that was on her charge, obviously her credit card. And it took a good like couple minutes and I'm like, and they're trying to figure it out and she was apologetic so eventually I had to be like excuse me but is Jason's order ready and he apologized because it was ready <laughs> and that's fine you know he I should have asked ahead of time but I just kind of waited there and I waited for somebody to kind of like say something to me and after a while I, I had to say something so anyway it's not a big deal and he was apologetic so again not a big deal and then uh, I picked up a pot belly and they were so sweet, you know? It was two young teen, boy and a girl, and she's just talking away, how's your day going? Just so sweet, you know? And I'm like, oh, it's going good, what are you doing? And I said, this is it, showed her my door, you know, showed her my delivery bag. And, uh, you know, they, I heard them mention they had a catering order and they said, yeah, it was pretty busy and you know, we just very sweet, very sweet uh, uh, employees. And uh, I, you know, told them, you know, hope you guys have a great day. And they're like, thank you so much. We really needed that. That last road we did, the catering was so stressful. And I'm like, oh, you know, I wish I had a little tip. I would have given you a little bit of a tip, <laughs> you know, just because. And she's like, because they work so hard, right? I don't know. And I didn't have any cash to make. But anyway, she was like, no, just this exchange has been, is like tip enough. So, you know, today has been a day where every restaurant that I've been into, I've been treated very nicely. And I appreciate that. Or professionally. There are times where I'll pick up at restaurants and they're just kind of rude. So today, today wasn't like that. Today, the, the restaurant workers were good today. So anyways, I got to turn off my uh, camera so I can see exactly where I'm going because I'm in the direction of where I'm going. Okay, let's go. So I just dropped off the last order of the night and it was a meet at the door because there was a pin. And when she opened the door, she had a tiny little dog that ran outside. 
And I said, oh, and I'm trying to, you know, stop him. And she goes, oh, no, don't worry. It's okay. He'll come back. And he did. But it reminded me of an incident I had a few weeks ago where it was a meet at the door. The guy opens the door, same type of little dog, comes running outside. And, you know, he's calling the dog. I'm trying to use my DoorDash bag to stop him. I'm trying to get a hold of him. And he goes, ma'am, please stop. This dog's never been outside before. Really? You've never taken your dog outside on walks or whatever? And he can't get a hold of the dog. So I use my DoorDash bag and I put, I block it in front of him so the guy pick, could pick up his dog. And I told him, you know, next time just put leave at the door. This way you don't have to worry about the dog running outside. And he said, thank you. And I probably got a one star, but I mean, come on, you know, you know, your dog could possibly get out. Why would you put leave? Why would you put meat at the door? Or why didn't you put the dog in a room or something? So anyways, this customer was a total sweetheart. So anyways, oh, both of those orders are dropped off. I'm gonna go ahead and end my video right here. So thank you so much for all the new subscribers. Um, just a few weeks ago, I had a thousand and now I think I'm at like 1100 something. So amazing. You guys are all amazing. And I read all your comments on my last video a few days ago. Uh, and it was, you know, I replied to some of them or I heart and liked him. And again, I really appreciate that you guys are taking the time and effort to comment and to, uh, watch my video. But I just wanted to shout out to this amazing comment I got. I'm going to have to go back and look at what her name is, but it's going to be right here. I checked her channel. She's got like 500,000 subscribers. So amazing. She commented on mine. And she leaves this really nice comment about how she doesn't tip her drivers anything less than $10. So I said, you're the reason why we like to deliver for customers like that. So anyways, I'll leave you with that one. And I hope you guys have a great night. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.